recording on my phone. I forgot my camera once again. And it sucks because I really wanted to record tonight, like really bad. So horrible quality, but it's okay. Right now it's just really dark in my car, so I think when I get to the club it will be brighter. So I swapped out my usual purse that I carry around for this one that was in my closet at home. So I have spirit underwears for when I am not on stage. I use this for any scars I have. A little portable fan, which is cool. I can like set it on a table like this. But this because I actually like to use this everywhere, like as my actual deodorant, like my underarms, because it smells so good. So lip gloss. This one's really good. A energy powder here. Some concealer. Um, I think that's it. I'm in this like back room right now because it's crazy out there. I'm recording this all over. I already said all this, but the speaker was playing and I don't know how loud that is on my phone. So, okay, so I'm gonna repeat what I said. So when I got here, there was like no money. I was not making any money for like over an hour. And then I got on my first stage set finally. And it was pretty good, so I wanted to say thank you to everyone. I got a couple dances, and then this older gentleman walks over and he's like, I tipped you more than anybody else and you didn't come say thank you to me. When? Like, I didn't, I didn't see him, but also, like, I'm in my own world, so I know the money came from someone I didn't see, so I guess it was him. So as he's, like, telling me this, he's throwing money at me, and I'm just, like, standing there. So I'm like, is he being disrespectful right now? Like, I don't, is he mad? I don't get it. Um, but he was actually really really nice. He was a sugar daddy. He was here with a girl and Very 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 pretty girl. She was Puerto Rican and something Puerto Rican Italian, I think and she was she was gorgeous. She looked like a model. She's sitting with a dancer He grabs me and he's like come I'm gonna go to the bathroom but when I come back sit with me I want to talk to you. I'm like, okay, so I go sit with him that dancer gets up for a minute um I need to take this gum out. And when she got up, um, I was already sitting with them, and he says, "I want to go to VIP." So I'm like, "Oh, let's let's like wait for her to get back." And he's like, "No, I'm just taking like one girl." So then I like say like, "Oh, well, maybe your girl wants to take her back because I know this dancer was already sitting with her," and I just felt <sighs> felt bad because like I didn't do anything. Wrong. You know, like if she was already sitting there, I don't want her to feel, I don't want her to feel like I was just like taking her VIP, right? So I'm like, what about her? So I asked him like, should we take another girl back? And that girl that was sitting with us and he was like, no, 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 just one. And I was like, fuck, like, ah, oh, I just feel so bad because, you know, like I'm going to pay for the VIP and of course that dancer sees and it's like, it sucks because like, I feel like this happens to me, not a whole lot, but when it does happen to me, it just sucks. Like, I'm not that way. I'm not gonna take customers away. Like, I'm not gonna care if I have a regular that wants to go see another girl. Like, I am not like that. Like, you do what you want. Everyone is allowed to do what they want, but sometimes it falls back on me because I've had dancers get mad at me for no fucking reason. But anyways, I had an exam today had school in the morning exam was horrible i'm pretty sure i failed and if i failed i have to retake the whole class and pay for it again so i'm very i was so upset like i wanted to cry all morning and i just held it in if i fail this class i just wasted like three months of my fucking life like that's how i feel but that stretch oh look at that cute photo on the on the fridge who is that in a little wooden train <laughs> you eating those lucky charms you haven't had those in so long anyway roscoe looking out for the birds and bunnies outside 
Yeah, I'm talking about you. I have allergies. Make it go away. Sorry, I I used to have piercings, so they stay that way, if you know what I mean. I'm just, anyways. I was kind of venting in one of the VIPs about something that happened. Also, look at these acne scars. Or I don't know if they're scars yet, but there's like three here that just have not gone away. It's been, I've been there for like almost a month now. So I'm supposed to be going to Miami in a few days. And I feel like the closer I get, the more I kind of start to drive the drive because I'm driving. But I don't know. I wanted to drive because I want to stop in Tampa and Sarasota and take my time. So I'm going to wash my face and I just use this right here. My allergies today are so bad. I feel like pollen and all that is like inevitable because I have a dog that tracks it in. I go outside, I bring it in, like, I like to leave doors and windows open and it's like, that's so frustrating because in Miami I could do that. Mosquito nets because we have mosquitoes on there and I'm fine, I love it. I, I can be hot all day, I'm totally fine with that as long as I have, like, fresh air. In Tennessee, you do that in Tennessee, like, you're asking to, you're just asking for rhinitis. So. I don't get facials, but I've been thinking about doing it because I don't know what else to do, but I'm taking my serum here and I just, this dropper sucks. So good, like it feels like a little massage. That's what I use it for pretty much, but it feels so good. Yo, I'm supposed to get lip fillers in Miami and I'm scared. YOLO, right? <laughs> the Belief. Belief. The True Cream Moisturizing Balm. If you have really dry, dehydrated skin like I do. For now, I have a lot to clean. So I'm going to go ahead and just play some YouTube videos while I clean my closet and get things to donate. Um... I've been donating a lot of clothes because a lot of clothes are not fitting me anymore and I try to hold on to some of it because I know my weight fluctuates a lot but like I used to be able to fit in double zero double zero jeans I could fit in double zero jeans and shorts and right now some of my jeans and shorts that are size one are tight I'll let you guys know how that exam went I think I know how it went already but anyway bye guys some big bills here from last night so whatever is there plus what's here is pretty much what i made last night it was not honestly as good as most thursdays but i'm always grateful it's still money i love this light so much it's so pretty all right it's about that time work again it's friday so i worked last night i'm working tonight i'm probably working tomorrow night again three days in a row which doesn't sound like a lot but it is sometimes um guys i passed my exam and i am like i'm so freaking happy i passed i passed my exam i remember just yesterday being like yeah i failed and really putting myself in the mindset of like okay what's next you failed you have to retake it like I genuinely thought that I failed which is not a good thing because that tells me that I just didn't know the content as the, as good as I thought I did but you know C's get degrees right I always hear this and it's true like as long as you pass in my class a 74 is passing 73.9 not passing so you need a 74 I passed the class with a 74 go in there and see how tonight goes I'm kind of tired but it'll be good
So, oh, so you're, you're mad at Anthony then. I tried to make it thicker this time. Um. Don't drop it. Hello guys, so it's now Saturday night. My outfit on because that that dressing room gets so um the dressing room gets so packed that I just can't even function when I'm trying to get dressed. Like it's bad. Actually let me make sure I have everything I need because look at that moon. I mean it's beautiful. Look how pretty. I just got home. And it is four, four in the morning. I still have my guard about on. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but I built it. That is awesome. Yep, I built this whole thing. So cool. Yep, you can see the beasts. Finally waking up. It was a long night. Change and get ready for the day. Um, yeah, I have no idea what time I got home, but I was exhausted. So I hope you guys have a good weekend, and I'm going to record the fashion of the stuff I got. It's like five items, um, so you can see how they fit, and I'll put like what they are probably in the description box. And yeah, that's it. So, um, and I drive down to Miami in two days, one day actually, in one day and a half. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Come here. This face is not bad though. And I'm running late. Um, these fit really good. This one I ripped the tag off, but I will I'll post like what it is and the size I got. Okay, so these did not fit me. But you can see it is really big. This is what I'm wearing tonight to drive to Miami because I just want to be comfortable. And I'm gonna wear it with some sandals or something. I have no makeup on, so just yeah and i broke out the other week anyways so i'm at a pilot um, but yeah i'm in florida i'll be recording with my gopro i have a gopro 6 pretty old <sighs> anyways i'm excited i really am i'm excited to be back in florida for a week before school starts again so yeah bye guys